Stampers! Welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Aubrey, part of the Stampin' Jill Creative team, and today I'm excited to share with you a bundle, a suite of products that's in the mini catalog. It's called the Bows of Holly Suite, and it's super cute, perfect for Christmas. It kind of has that almost traditional, classic, old-worldy Christmas feel to it. So, it has the Leaves of Holly stamp set along with dies, the Holly Berry dies. This is what they look like. Stamp set and dies. I have some of them here in the back. So cute. And then it also has in it this cute natural ribbon. This is the natural woven ribbon. It kind of has a vanilla um, hue to it. It also comes with these textural elements. They're kind of like little wood elements that you can put on your cards. I don't have any with me because I've used them all up on my samples, so I'll show them to you when we get the samples out. And then the best part is always the designer series paper. So cute. So it just kind of has those traditional colors some of my favorites are these pretty poinsettia papers. Love that. And then on the back is just more of basic um, colors. Love it. I wanted to show you just some of the features of this stamp set, what's so fun to use in it, and show you some samples. So let's get started. So first we're gonna start with the stamp set. I wanna show you how fun and how nicely these holly leaves and berries stamp. So let me grab some basic white paper and I'm going to use Evening Evergreen, Shaded Spruce, Cherry Cobbler, and Real Red. So we'll start with our leaves. So with these leaves, you have two-step stamping. You have a more bold image and then a more intricate image and there's two sizes of leaves. So we have a smaller leaf and our bigger leaf. So we're gonna stamp a few of both of these. So we'll start with shaded spruce and I'm going to get my bold image of that leaf. And I'm just going to ink it up real good and then stamp that down on my paper. And then I'm going to take the more intricate design of that and I'm gonna stamp it in Evening Evergreen. And then I'm gonna just go right over the top of that shaded spruce one, and you can see how cool those two go together and how dynamic that leaf ends up looking. So pretty. So now let's do our smaller leaf. We'll do our bold image in the shaded spruce, just like that. And then again, our more intricate one in Evening Evergreen, right over the top. Again, so pretty. Okay, the other one I wanna show you is the berry. I love the way this berry looks with the cherry cobbler and the real red together. So we're gonna start with the real red actually in that bolder image of the berries. Stamp that down. And then we'll stamp the more intricate stamp right over the top just like we did with the leaves in the cherry cobbler. Do you see just how dynamic that looks, how fun that is with the two-step stamping? I love it so much. And then one of the best parts is that we have dies that coordinate. Get these out. And they'll just cut those right out, just like this. and it makes it so easy to make a card. Let me show you one that I've made using that stamp. So pretty. So here are those textural elements, so cute on there. 
and those stamps just look so amazing together. Love it. So let me show you one other way that you can use this suite. I want to show you how to use the dies and make them more intricate. So you have your bold dies you saw that cut out our um, stamped images, but we also have some more intricate ones here. And these ones will punch out a more intricate design that you can um, layer on top of the bold image and it gives it such a cool look. So if we take our berries, the intricate one, and do that in Poppy Parade, and then our outline of the berries in real red, and then we'll do our outlines of our leaves in Old Olive, and our intricate leaves in Mossy Meadow. And I've pre-done that. You can see how they turn out. So then you'll just layer these on top of each other and look how cool those come out. So pretty. I love it so much. So let me show you a card I made using these. Here we go, Christmas wishes. So pretty. Two awesome ways to use those holly berries and two very different looking samples. Love it, love it, love it. So let me show you a few more samples that I came up with using this suite of products. Seasons Greetings. Here's another one. This is another die that's in that set. It has this cute label in there. Love that. Here's that really pretty poinsettia paper. And then Christmas wishes. Love that ribbon so much. And then you can stamp up all those cards and put them in a cute little bag and give to a friend. So much fun. I have had so much fun playing with this Bows of Holly suite of products. If you're interested in any of this, make sure to click the link below. And thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next week for another Watch It Weekly Wednesday.